Wonder Woman, more like Wonder Ant. Am I right, moms out there? Ants? So you guessed it. You didn't guess it, you just read the title. We're back at it again with the Barbie vids. We have gone on a journey with Barbie. We've tried her makeup, we've tried her cooking, and we conquered it. But what have we not conquered? The hair. Barbie's hair's iconic, as we all know. Her and her knee? Is it her cousin? I don't remember. We'll find out, hopefully. They did something special. They decided to shake, shake the earth and do a unicorn hair tutorial. And if you know me, you know I don't do hair stuff. I do this almost every day. This will be pretty difficult. So let's get started. Oh, a Paw Patrol ad. How fitting when YouTube thinks I'm a four-year-old girl. True. Hey there, it is craft day with Chelsea. Hey, Chelsea. So Barbie and Chelsea, a BC Barbie Chelsea. What are we gonna make today? Well, I wanted to share with you something that Herberto and Hazel taught me how to make. Unicorn hair! I've never heard a small child, I'm guessing she's about, it's a cartoon, I don't know how old she is. Five, six, seven. That's not how they talk, I don't think. But who am I to judge? Wait, who are Herberto and Hazel? You know, they're hairdressers in Wispy Forest. In Dreamtopia, they're the hedgehog hairdressers. <laughs> She's like, okay, girly. In Forest. In Dreamtopia. All right, Chelsea. <laughs> okay. They're the hedgehog hairdressers. Oh. <laughs> they are so funny. Right, I remember now. Me when someone says something that I don't remember them saying, but I don't want to talk about it anymore, so I say that I do remember. Oh, yeah. Don't you remember when I like told you about that time my mom had that surgery on her pinky toe? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course, yes. Please don't talk about it again. Wispy Forest. <laughs> and Herberto and Hazel are these amazing hairdressers. <sighs> My heart. Barbie's saying, oh, she's such a sweet, is it? I don't, is this her cousin? And they taught me how to make unicorn hair, and I'm going to teach you with Barbie. <laughs> with Barbie, okay? Like, the Barbie, okay? Ken canceled. Since we don't have magic in this world, well, that we know about, we will need a couple of rubber bands, a comb, hair pins, uh -huh. tape, okay. and a piece of cardstock cut into a square. Cardstock? Yeah, five inches on each side. Cardstock. I, get, I have this. This is flimsier than regular paper. Okay, ready, Barbie? I can't wait. I can't wait. I have a hundred million dollar insurance on my hair, Chelsea. So you better be careful. First thing we do is to separate a section of the hair in the front like this. Keep it separate. Love how they outlined that. They were like, this part of your hair, right? Here, me. Okay, so we're gonna separate. Goodbye, everyone. And we work on the unicorn tail. My scalp is very sensitive right now because it's burnt. <laughs> if you see anything that looks like dandruff, it is my head peeling. Unicorn tail, AKA pony tail. Ooh, uh, fancy. All right, love that for us. You divide the ponytail into two parts. Then you take the first section of hair and you make a really high ponytail with it. And you tie it with a hairband. You see? Make a really high ponytail with it. And you tie it with a hairband. Oh. You see? Oh, look. Kim Kardashian? Canceled. Then you take the hair from the smaller ponytail and we wrap it around the main ponytail, just like this. Whoa, they are going 
Do you see that arrow? It was like, I'm going from this picture and we're gonna come over here. And we wrap it around the main ponytail. Uh, my hair is very layered. So this is an obstacle we must overcome. Ow, that was my shoulder. And Hazel taught me to secure it with a bobby pin. Now you have a nice high unicorn tail. See, a big reason why I don't do my hair a lot is because, like, it hurts. Like, my arms hurt by the time I'm done. Oh, my shoulders are like, please stop. Where's thick Barbie's channel? And Hazel taught me to secure it with a bobby pin. I did not picture Hazel to be a woodland creature holding a comb. Now you have a nice high unicorn tail. Okay, now for the horn. You take your square cardstock and you roll it into a cone. I don't have a ruler. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There, I think that's pretty, I don't know. And then secure it with tape. Like that. I think we're Gucci, I think we're good. Then, you wrap the hair around the cone. I don't have to. What are those kids singing? Me when I want to be in Lilo and Stitch. Ooh, where'd she get that necklace? And secure it with a bobby pin. A. A bobby pin. Chelsea. A bobby pin. <laughs> You think I'm gonna hold all of this hair up with a bobby pin? Okay, we'll see how that goes. Chilts. Can I call you chilts? Chilts. If I understand correctly, we're gonna move it all up to the front. Oh, this is gonna be unattractive. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it with my right hand because my left hand is basically unusable. Ambidextrous people can't relate. Wait, do I have like no hair or what is this? I'm legit confused. Uh, they showed pictures, that's it. And little stencils, little cute little stencils with like woodland creatures on it. I'm not amused, Chelsea. <gasps> I'm not giving up. Do you think Barbie gave up with her hair care routine? Do you think she gave up putting argan oil in her hair every night? No. I don't think she did. Oh, the top is atrocious. This is probably as good as it's ever gonna get. The last bobby pin. We love a good last bobby pin. I won't lie. I won't lie. This is definitely me when I'm- Hate my life. And ta-da! Unicorn hair! <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, Barbie? I love it! Yes! Wait. So Chelsea did it to Barbie without Barbie's help. I have a conspiracy, all right? Barbie must have helped her and then act like, like she was surprised. You're not fooling me, Barbie. You're not fooling me at all. It makes me feel like anything is possible because that's how it feels to be a unicorn. You know, if I could do this, without having a mental breakdown, which I could have cut it out and you just didn't know, then I think anything is possible. That's, I, I feel like anything's possible too, Barbie. I feel, yeah. That's how it feels to be a unicorn, right? Oh, you look so pretty. <laughs> Let's just replay that real quick. Everything just goes perfectly for her, but we're gonna try Hair Chalk Studio, ages six plus. So don't try this at home, kids. Step one, select the section of hair in which you wish to temporarily color with hair chalk. All of this, I have selected it. For dark hair, you need to spritz your hair with a little water first. I don't, we're, we're just gonna draw it on our hair. See, they didn't show this process of coloring her hair. She literally lives in Disney World. Okay. So, um. <gasps> okay. Good. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Wait. Where's that towel? Okay. 
Okay. Uh, I tried coloring my hair and then putting it back up. I don't know if you can see the color. You literally can't. Oh my gosh. Ding. I guess I'm inferior to Barbie. I've accepted it. Another Paw Patrol ad. You ready? Yep. Pace. Pace. I wanted to show you my pictures from prom. And she went to prom too. I never went to prom. 